Hi and welcome back to another video brought to you by Maths from Scratch. This is Column Method Edition Level 6. Now in this video we're going to look at how to add decimals together because the Column Method Edition will work with that as well. So if we have a look at our first example then. So here we have 6 pence, there's a pound sign there, and we're going to add that to £12.84. Now, now those two are indeed decimal numbers and so we're just going to have a look at how we can use the Column Method to add those two together. Now the thing that's slightly different about adding decimals together is that if you remember from level 5, my recommendation was to always write the biggest number first. Now with decimals, I think the easiest thing to do is to always start with the longest number because obviously we have decimals and decimals can be of different lengths. So these two decimals, um, the £12.84 is indeed the longest because there's four digits in this one whereas opposed in the six pence there's only three. So I'm going to write up my method. So I'm going to write £12.84 first. So £12.84, remembering to leave a little gap in between. And now when we write the 0 0.06 underneath, the secret to this is to always line up our decimal points. So decimal point underneath and then we have 0 0.06. Six, okay, and now we draw our lines, and now I'm going to go through and do the calculation. So four add six, so that gives me an answer of ten. Carry me one zero underneath. Then I move to my second column. Eight add nothing. Well, that's still eight. Add the one is nine. Now because my decimal point is there, and then line up my decimal point underneath. So I now put a decimal point in my answer. Then we have two add nothing is two. And then there's nothing in the tens column there, so then that gives me one. And so my answer to this calculation is going to be £12.90. Right then, so let's have a look at example number two. So here we have 0 0.193, and to that we're going to add 1.0006. Now, as mentioned before, the easiest thing when setting up our columns is to always write the longest number first. So the 1.0006, that's our longest number, so we'll start with that one. So 1.0006, and then to that we're going to add 0 0.193. And so now the secret is to line up our decimal points, and then 0 0.193. Now, what I tend to do is when my when I have gaps um, towards the end of the decimal, I then just fill this in with a zero because it's just easier to see. And so now we've filled in our decimal point with the, the, the decimal space here with a zero, and then we can complete our lines now. And then let's add each column in turn. So six add zero is six, zero add three is three, zero add one is nine, 0 add 1 is, is 1, line up my decimal points, and then 1 add 0, that's 1. And so my answer to this calculation is going to be 1.1936. Right, and now let's have a look at example number 3 then. So here we have three decimal numbers to add together. Now this is similar to level 5, where, as we, as we learned in level 5, is that it really does not matter how many numbers that we have to be added together, this method will still work. So this example just serves to show us how we can add more than one decimal together. So what we need to look for is our longest decimal, as explained in example one and two. So that's going to be the middle one. So taking care to set this up nice and neat. So we've got 163 decimal point zero zero nine, And then I think I will write the 16.420 because that will line up these three decimal points nicely. And again, if you remember from level five, it really doesn't matter which order that you add these up in. So four, two, zero. And then my last one is going to be 13.2. Line up my decimal points. 13.2. And then I'm going to add some filler, filler, filler in zeros, if you like. Add those underneath. Draw my lines. And then let's add up each column in turn. So 9 add 0 add 0, well that just becomes 9. 0 plus 2 plus 0, that's 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Then I've got my decimal point, so that just remains underneath in our answer. 3 plus 6 plus 3, that gives me an answer of 12. So I'm carrying my 1, write the 2 underneath. Last, um, second to last column, 6 add 1 is 7, 8 and 9. And then we've got 1 
and nothing in that column. So that gives me an answer of 192.629. And so that's how we add decimals together using the column method for addition. And I think you'll agree it uh, is fairly simple. Okay then, so now you've had a look at those two examples, have a go at these practice questions. So same thing applies if you've watched my videos before. Pause the video, have a go at those um, five quick questions, and then I'll go through the answers with you when you've done that. Okay then, so well done for having a go at those. So the answer to number one is uh, for... 0.41 or 4.41 pounds it should be really answer to question number two is 1.372 the answer to question three is 117.687 the answer to question four is 100 uh, 120.7839 and then the answer to question five is 195.07892 so well done for watching column method uh, column method edition level six good job on getting our laws right um, and I will see you again soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. So let's go through each one of these answers in turn then. So, or like the questions even. So let's have a look at practice question one. So here we've been asked to add £4.32 to 9p. So they're both the same length, so it doesn't matter which one we write first. Uh, so I'm going to start with the £4.32. So £4.32, put my decimal point in. And to that, I'm going to add 0 0.09 or 9p. Draw my lines, making sure that we line up our decimal point. Then I'm going to draw my lines. And then take each column in turn like we usually do. So 2 add 9 is 11. So I'm going to carry my 1, write the 1 underneath. 3 add 0, add 1, gives me an answer of 4. Write my decimal point underneath, so I'll carry it through in the column. And then 4 plus nothing, well, that just gives me a 4. And so my answer to practice question number one is going to be four pounds forty one. So our practice question number two. So we need to look at which one of these decimals is the longest number. Um, so remember, it's not the highest or largest. It's one that's just literally the longest. Which one's got the most digits? Um, so the first one in this example has got the most digits. So we'll start with that one first. So zero point zero one. 2, and then to that I'm going to add 1.36, so add, now making sure I line up our decimal points, 1.36, now I've run out of digits, so I could just put a, a little 0 there, and then let's answer it, so 2 plus nothing is 2, 1 plus 6 is 7, Not plus 3 is 3, decimal point is there, 0 plus 1 is 1, and so the answer is 1.372 for practice question. Number two. So practice question number three. So here we are trying to look for the longest one. Now, as you will find though, is that they all have, these two numbers have the same number of digits, um, but the second one has actually got more digits on the left-hand side of the decimal point. So we'll choose this one. Um, but again, as we've learned from column method edition level five, it doesn't matter in which order you add these numbers in using the method edition because the method will still work. So 101, 0.29 and then we're going to add underneath that 16.397 now I can put a zero above there to make it look nice so we've got lots of numbers in our columns draw my lines and then we'll answer each one of these in the columns so zero add seven that's zero nine add nine gives me an answer of 18 carry my one write my eight underneath third column two plus three is five Add the 1 is 6, decimal point. 1 and 6 is 7. 0 add 1 is 1, and then last column is 1. And so my answer to practice question number 3 is 117.687. Question 4 then. So here we have 111.78, and to this we're going to add 9.00039. Okay, so the longest number on here is obviously the top one. Uh, sorry, the second one. So 9.00039. And we're going to add 111. So make sure we line up our columns. Right, and then we can just fill it in with zeros if we need to. Right, now we'll draw our lines. 
And then let's go through and add up these columns. So 9 add note is 9. Good old fashioned 0 there. 3 plus nothing is 3. 0 plus 0 is nothing. Nothing plus 8 is 8. Nothing plus 7 is 7. Add your decimal point. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1 and it's a 0. Then we've got a 2 there and then a 1. And so my answer to question number 5 is 120.7803. Nine. So again, remember from level five, it doesn't matter which order we add these in, the method will still work. So let's have a look at which one should we write first. Right, so I'm going to go for the middle one because we've got three numbers on the left hand side of the decimal point. So we'll start writing this in now. So 107.098. So I'm going to tick that one off so I know I've done it. Then I'll add 10.02. So we need to make sure we line up our decimal points. I'll add a zero on there because we need to signify that there's no thousandths in that column. Done that one. Then I'm going to add 66.00092. So I've done this one. And then my final one is 1.96. Now I'm going to draw my lines. And then a plus sign to indicate that it's an addition. Then let's go ahead and answer this. answer these questions then. So first thing I need to do is add in my zeros. Now again, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to. It just makes it easier to see. And if you look, I've done a dodgy six there, but for now we'll leave it. But if you try and line them up, that'd be uh, that'd be fab. Right, so my first column, so that's going to be a two. This column's going to be a nine. Now I've got eight plus nothing is just going to be eight. And this one, I've got nine plus six is a 15. Add a two gives me a 17. So I'm going to carry the one, write the seven underneath. Now my tenths column, that's going to be a 10. So I'll carry my one, write a zero. Now I've got my decimal point, so I need to put that in. Now I've got seven add one, which is eight, nine, and then that six there is a 15. Okay. And then in, in the tens column, two, eight, nine, and then final one there. So my answer to this one is 195.07892. So we'll write that on there. So 195.07892. And we've got that one right. So that concludes the answer walkthrough for column and method edition level six. That's the last level, so well done on watching um, this series all the way through to the end. I hope you found this useful. Please like, share, subscribe, etc. Um, and thanks for watching this video brought to you by Maths From Scratch.